Websites need icons, just like hamburgers need cheese. In this video, I'm gonna explore how AI art can generate icons. AI icons could be the next big thing. I've been using the same old boring icons for hundreds of years. They're from Font Awesome. And while this is one of the most popular sites for icons, they do require a paid subscription these days to unlock all the different types. And while they're great, everyone uses them. This is where I think app icons and icons in general generated by artificial intelligence could be amazing and play a big role in replacing some of the traditional ways we actually source our icons. So I'm gonna stop saying icons now and we're gonna jump into Midjourney to generate some icons for the website that I'm building here in Editor X. I want to deck out my menu with it. So I want a homepage icon, a mail icon, a hamburger icon, and maybe one more for something like a user profile. Let's begin. This is mid journey. This is where most of the AI art is created, but I've just gone to the website and I'm gonna log in using Discord. What's useful about this is that you get to see all the prompts that you've created here as AI art. And you also get to explore what other people have created. I'm gonna jump into the search to start off with to have a look at some of the icons that can be generated through Midjourney. Some of these icons have different styles. Some look like app icons, while others look like minimalist icons. But what's interesting is that we get to have a look at these in detail, as well as what prompts generated them. Then we can use this as a reference later to generate our own. So I'm gonna have a look at this one here, and this looks like a good version of web icons. There's another one over here, which more, more or less looks like app icons, I think. And all of these look great. What I'm gonna do now is create a prompt on Midjourney through Discord. I'm gonna send a private message to the Midjourney bot, and I wanna start off with a really simple prompt. Quick pause, if you wanna join the Codex community, which is free, we have thousands of members on Discord. On there, we have Midjourney implemented, so you can use it immediately without any hassles. On top of that, we do things like Q and A's, weekly streams, and much more. Join it in the link below. I want an envelope icon. This will be something that you have in most websites. You have things like envelope icons for sending messages, home icons for the homepage, and maybe user profile where you have like a silhouette of a head but here is my prompt for an envelope icon. Now I'm also using stylized 750, which is adding more style to the general prompt. And I'm getting some responses back here from Midjourney, which looks like a basic envelope. And to get it to look more like an icon, we can start utilizing more and more in the prompt, but I thought I'd start very simple to begin with. So I'm gonna do another prompt and we're gonna be more specific in this case because I don't really like this orange color. I'm pretty sure envelopes aren't orange. So what I'm gonna do is one more. I'm gonna do envelopes with icons. Now the only difference in this prompt is that I've added the letter S. But what this means now is that Midjourney should essentially start generating multiple icons per a variation. And hopefully we can have a look at which style works a lot better and sort of work our way from there. So here on the top left, I've got four different types of envelopes, blue, pink, orange, white, which is a little bit better. And on the bottom right, I have more options again for icons, but this time it's almost as if I'm getting an icon pack that I could utilize rather than a single icon. And this is where specifically making sure that the prompt has what you want will play a big difference in what kind of responses you get. Now these icons themselves don't really look like a envelope. They look more like a briefcase. And I think this is just because they're over styled as well. So I'm gonna see if I can just improve all of these. And I think what I really want is for them to exist on a white background, because when we have all these gradients and stuff, you would normally have to pull these gradients out into Photoshop and clip these icons. And this could be difficult because, well, Midjourney just doesn't produce a vector icons. It just produces essentially JPGs for all of these, right? So what I'm gonna do is ask for a more simple envelope against a white background. Let's give that a shot. And here is my prompt, white envelope on a white background, maybe even um, a white envelope icon and white background. Let's give that a shot. And um, I think I might also add in UI and UX. As soon as I add in more and more into the prompt, it might get more complex too. So I don't want to overcomplicate it, especially when we begin out. But later on, we might add in things like say minimalist or for example, outlines and other things. 
So here it's generating some of the envelope icons. Uh, I think I can already tell these are better, but they do look like app icons because they've got that border around them, like that one on the top left. And while this could be useful if you are generating an app icon, sometimes you just want an icon for the website itself, such as the one I wanna build in the navigation. And these wouldn't be ideal for that case. This is where I want to generate a new prompt. This time I'm going to do a white envelope icon with a white background, but I'm going to pass in the word dash dash no with the word app as part of that no sequence. This means that I don't want an app icon. It's nowhere in the prompt and it even avoids the word app in the prompt itself by adding that dash dash no. This can be useful and hopefully we just get envelopes now as the icons that I want to generate. And from what I can tell already, they are generating correctly. And this is great. This is what I was sort of looking for. So consider adding no to statements if something is popping up in the image that you just don't want to appear. Now from these, some of these icons for the envelope don't particularly look like envelopes, like for example, some of them have extra lines or extra um, paper folds are folding twice rather than once. And I think it would be worthwhile picking one of the envelopes that looks better, like the one on the bottom right. So the top right and bottom right are pretty good. So I might do variations on them by selecting V4. I've got Remix enabled, but I don't really wanna change this prompt. So I'm quite happy with what it's providing right now. Here are the four new icons. All of these seem to have correct folding. I can really pick any one of these to generate a large upscale, which I want to use as part of the website then. And I should simply be able to copy paste it out. I'm gonna select a version three because that's the one I like the most of. And then I'm gonna save that and see what that looks like if I paste it onto a website. So let me open up Editor X. Here I'm working on a bit of a website about design and this is a work in progress. I wanna create a new section here for maybe a proper newsletter or sign up. I have something quite simple here at the very top. And then I also did a video earlier about using AI for topography with this large T, a little bit too large. So I'm gonna resize that down a little bit, but I wanna add a new section. I'm gonna head over to composition, compositions here. I'm gonna to go to maybe resumes. And I like this very first one here, which has an image on the right hand side and some basic text on the left hand side. I'm gonna change this image to be something that might be part of the design book. I don't have very many images right now, so I'll just use this a letter T and later maybe replace it with a page from the book itself. Then on the left hand side, what I'm gonna do is say something like maybe join the Discord or actually since this is a newsletter, I'll do join the newsletter. I don't need all this extra information, so I'll get rid of that, but I'll save the button here because I want people to click this in order to join the newsletter as a call to action. Now I can add in an image. I'm going to select quick add and I'm gonna select image here. And I'm simply going to upload the image, which I've already done and select here the envelope that I generated. I can resize this and move it just above the title. It's clipped, so I'm going to reset the image over here. And now it's more or less good to go. So this already looks pretty good in terms of an image. It's just that the background here doesn't fit with the image itself. And rather than going into Photoshop to cut that out, I'm simply going to update the background to be the same as the AI art. And all of this now looks good together. Plus the button, which has a white background, stands out a lot more. So that is pretty much this section done. And it showcases how to use AI icons as part of traditional web design.